This is an Oreos and chocolate shake large. It's 32 ounces equals 1,730 calories. Holy. Right here, I've got the nutritional information of literally most fast food places. Like some of them are like 300 pages long. This is the only kind of reading that I will ever do in my life. You probably guessed by the title of this video, for the next 24 hours, so starting now at breakfast and going all the way until tomorrow morning's breakfast, every single time I enter one of these food places, I can only choose the highest calorie option. So whatever is like the craziest, biggest, most fattening meal, that is what I can have for the whole day. So this in every place. <laughs> Before we head out for breakfast, I kind of have an idea of the places I want to go to, but I haven't found out what the highest calorie items are, so that is what we're gonna do. So I thought that for breakfast we could go to IHOP, because it's, it stands for International House of Pancakes, so we should probably get some pancakes. And everything is so tiny, like how am I even gonna be able to figure out what anything is? Okay, 1,370 calories for country fried steak and eggs how do you i don't know 200 calories 300 calories pff, amateurs 420 wow i can't believe i think 1370 is the highest calorie so basically what i want to do for all these fast food places is i want to pick the highest calorie savory but also the sweet option if there's both if it doesn't scream heart disease <laughs> not good for this video for the savory option from ihop the option with the most calories is the country fried steak and eggs with sausage and then if you add the option of eggs scrambled eggs has got the most calories so it all amounts to 1800 calories for the savory option then for the sweet option the one with the most calories is the belgian chocolate pancakes i'm not even counting for the toppings and the syrup so we're gonna ask them to put whatever they have to just put it on top up. so for starbucks the place where we're gonna get um our drink from the option with the most calories is the white hot chocolate the venti one which amounts to 700 calories for one drink just one drink 700 calories there were a few options like um the java chip frappuccino um if that's your go-to order then that one has got a lot of calories as well very close but the white chocolate wins. This was an eventful morning and things didn't go exactly according to plan. So basically I got all the foods and I drove home and like now we can sit down and enjoy the insaneness in calories that this is. For Starbucks, I got the white hot chocolate, which is honestly such a plain looking drink. It was so difficult when I was driving resisting the urge to drink this on the car. The total calories of this is 700 calories for that. Like, it's not even that big. Like, I... I don't know. I was supposed to get the Belgian chocolate pancakes. That was the item with the most amount of calories. And apparently there is a new item in the menu. Let me introduce to you the Mexican churro pancakes. <laughs> And yes, if you're guessing, I tried to explain to the lady that I'm trying to do this calorie challenge and basically she gave me five pancakes and the whole total of this is 1,500 calories. So all this together is... I don't know, I'm not good at maths. This is like on a whole different level. I would have never ordered this in first place, but I'm glad. This video is so extra and like trashy that I feel like we need to eat this out of a plate just to balance things out. So I'm gonna transfer the five pancakes, oh, holy. For the savory option, we got the country fried steak. I've never even seen this. Is this like steak? Like I honestly, it kind of looks like schnitzel. So um, we also got, I think this is like two portions of hash browns that they gave me with it. Um, they were very understanding of my of my choices. So, and this is scrambled eggs, which is the option for eggs with the most amount of calories. So when you get this dish, you get to pick the eggs. I've never had this before, so this will be something that we'll share. This is, I think this is supposed to be gravy. I thought gravy was brown, so I've never had gravy that looks like this. So there you go. So the total for this meal with the pancake syrup that we will add on top. If I'm not wrong, guys, I think this will amount to 3,800 calories. So just the breakfast and lunch, this is kind of both. 
almost 4,000 calories. What a diet. I mean, I am hungry, so I'm not even gonna complain. I wanna start with the drink. Um, this drink is for Ra Raphael, so <laughs> this is for someone else. Sorry, I stole your drink, my evil twin. Um, first of all, it's not hot chocolate anymore because <laughs> it's like lukewarm. It tastes of white chocolate, like very, like, very artificially. I mean, I do like it. I wish he had more whipped cream. <laughs> this sounds literally crazy when I'm having almost a thousand calories in one cup, but it could be sweeter. <laughs> it is good. Honestly, I'm not someone who's like too calorie conscious. Like I hate that. Like I'm, I don't count calories as something that doesn't make me happy. But still, I don't think I would ever order a drink that is literally the equivalent of like a meal. I would rather go to like McDonald's and just eat chicken nuggets. That's just my personal opinion. If you love Starbucks and a nice sugary drink, I mean, go for it. Oh, oh my God, I shouldn't have put the syrup on top. This is gonna be way too sweet. Wait, I should give you like a shot of cutting into this. Five pancakes. This is what five pancakes look like. This is literally a cake. Where's the churro? I wish he had more churros. No one will take me seriously today. Okay. Wow. I'm gonna choke. I honestly overestimated how much food I can keep in my mouth in one go. Um, the churro pieces, it's kind of crunchy. It's actually the best part of literally the whole meal. Um, apart from that, it's a lot of pancake, <laughs> like a lot. But because we've got so many places to go to today for the challenge, <laughs> like, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. There's gonna be a lot of like leftovers for tomorrow, the day after, you know, just, it's kind of like a dulce de leche sauce on top. Um, and it's got syrup as well. It's still not too sweet. Like sweetness is not the issue. It's more of the fact that it's just five pancakes and that's a lot, but I mean, I do enjoy it. Like I wouldn't exchange this for anything else right now. Mm. These are so good as well. We're gonna move on to trying the lunch part of the breakfast lunch situation because I'm mostly curious about the gravy, but I honestly actually really enjoy that. I don't know how I feel about this white gravy. It's kind of cold and it's got pieces of meat in it. I've never had gravy with meat in it. This is like an experience. Um, you know what, let's just do, like we can't judge this until we have like the full thing, but to me, it's honestly really interesting that this is the meal at IHOP with the most amount of calories. It's not bread, it's not like any kind of pasta dish, it's a fried steak. It tastes fine on its own. <laughs> I mean, listen, obviously this video, it is what it is. Maybe for the next one, we should do the lowest calorie option. Now that would be an interesting video. Give it a like if that's something you wanna watch, like that would be interesting but for this one that is the theme of the video so how am i even gonna eat this this is a lot wow it doesn't really taste like beef to me it kind of just like schnitzel like it tastes like any kind of, I don't even know, like it's not very intense to flavor the meat, which actually makes this really nice. Like actually genuinely really enjoyable. I'm not gonna lie, when I tasted the gravy on its own, I didn't like it, but altogether, this is probably how it's supposed to be eaten. Mm. But like, I do understand the amount of calories because like the plate looks so small still, I haven't eaten even like 10% of this, and I'm honestly full. I mean, I did eat a, quite a chunk of the pancakes, but I feel like it's gonna be one of those challenges for the whole day. 
I'm gonna take a lot in between meals. Um, yeah, I was gonna do breakfast from IHOP and then lunch, but this is the breakfast and lunch because I won't be hungry for a long time. I feel like a student, I've got like pages everywhere. So, so right now we are outside Baskin Robbins. So this is, I think it's like an ice cream slash milkshake place. And basically I read all 300 pages of this nutritional menu. And let me just tell you, out of all things, this stuff is wild. <laughs> There's a lot of items that get so close to 2,000 calories, which is probably like the daily amount. They, I don't know. I don't follow these rules. <laughs> the large M&M's milkshake is like 1,430 calories. So I think they probably think that I'm health inspection because I'm sitting outside Baskin Robbins, like reading pages and pages of nutritional information. I'm like, I'm the farthest thing from health inspection i'm actually probably the opposite of that like if you sneeze on my ice cream and it tastes good that's fine with me <laughs> so this is an oreos and chocolate shake large it's 32 ounces equals 1730 calories holy schnitzel i mean we got a lot more coming up in this video but this is kind of like just an afternoon snack just because Clearly we need it in this video. So let's get the Oreo milkshake. So here we've got our Oreo and chocolate shake from Baskin Robbins. And even though the cup says Dunkin' Donuts, I went inside just to double check. This is the Baskin Robbins one. And this is the Baskin Robbins one. It's just because it's a joint location they give you in the Dunkin' Donuts cup. I don't know, I don't understand. But we're still gonna test it out. Is this worth the 1,700 calories? <laughs> like nothing is, but let's... I love it. <laughs> like, I really want to hate it. I really want to be like, you know what, guys? This is not worth it. But <laughs> it doesn't taste very complex, if that makes sense. Like, I can barely get, like, the Oreo. It just, it almost tastes like a chocolate milkshake. It still tastes great. I would still, I would probably get this again. What ingredient do you guys think makes this, like, have so many calories? Is it sugar? Is it cream? Or is it like, what is it? Because like on top, I swear, it doesn't even have that much whipped cream. Like this is barely any whipped cream on top. And like the whipped cream, I, I tasted it a little bit earlier and it's not, it's not even that sweet. No, I guess it is. Well, <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm just making excuses. It's great. Is it worth it? I mean, to me it is. I'll enjoy this today and I'll eat a salad someday. I don't know when. We came all the way to here, so we're not gonna give up now. So basically, I just came back from picking up our later in the day snacks. That's what I'm calling it because like this day is really hard to structure because this is so many calories that like I can't even finish everything. Um, so on this side, I've got the nutritional info for Wendy's and I cannot wait to tell you what the highest calorie options for Wendy's are because I honestly actually found this kind of surprising. And then on this side, we've got the calories for Taco Bell and the reason why I wanted to include Taco Bell was because I just know you guys would be like where is Taco Bell so I wanted to do this one for you guys so I've also got the highest calories for Taco Bell and the items right here so I'm gonna share that with you but first let us start with Wendy's. The Wendy's nutritional menu is kind of structured into places so originally I thought that the highest calorie item was gonna be the spicy chicken Caesar salad, which is 500 calories. But actually, once I started reading through it, I understood how they organize it. So that wasn't the highest calorie item, even though, like, just this is just like fun information. The salads at Wendy's have got more calories than anything else. I don't understand how that makes any sense. Um, I've always said salads don't have a place. <laughs> in the world so out of all the sides at Wendy's the one with the most amount of calories is 
the chili cheese fries. So this portion of chili cheese fries, that is actually not even that big. It amounts, this amounts to 600 calories. It is the triple like baconator. I don't even know what you call this. This sandwich right here is 1,100 calories. This is like more than any other item on here. Nothing even gets close. Like most of them go up to 700, 1,100 calories. So this is what it looks like. Oh, this is huge. It is heavy as well. Imagine like if I ate the whole thing, like in one go, like even if this is my only meal of the day, like the fries, like kind of there's space for that. But this is like, listen to this. For the savory items, this alone is 1,700. And then uh, we also got a frosty. So this is the dessert with the most amount of calories. This is, um, this is a chocolate frosty that amounts to 900 calories. So I don't even know what all, I'm gonna tell you the whole thing all together and the whole day, which will be really surprising. But that is it, 900 calories for a chocolate frosty that I've actually never tried before. So this is the highest calorie options at Wendy's. Now, the Taco Bell one, Cinnabon Delight. Um, I don't remember ever eating this. I I thought they only made the cinnamon twists. I want you guys to pause this video and guess how many calories this is. <laughs> this is 930 calories, so almost a thousand. Wait, with no dip, not frosting, none of the syrup, just this alone. So when we add like the dip and everything, this is gonna be over a thousand calories. So if you guess like a thousand plus, then you won. I don't know what you won, but I think we're safe with all the nutritional infos for today because this is our last item. This is the item at Taco Bell with the most amount of calories, which I think is more than actually any item that we've had, which is crazy because it's not even that big. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is, but this is, this is the beef nachos grande. I think that's what you call it. And this amounts to a thousand three hundred calories, I think, maybe even a little bit more. So the whole dinner, if I'm not wrong, this whole thing amounts to 4,560 calories, which I think it takes the total of the day, including our breakfast, lunch, and also our afternoon, like milkshake adventure. It takes us to, 11,000 calories, so over 10,000 calories for the whole day. I'm gonna say something that you guys are probably gonna think, like this is not a normal thing to say, but honestly, for the amount of calories that this is, like, it's not that much food. Like, right, this is a lot of food, obviously, like we have to look past it, but like, I would eat this. And like, this is like the amount of food that you should eat in like three full days. Like, this is not gonna keep me fed for three days, but, it will keep me fat for today after everything we've been through. So this is the triple baconator. Oh my god. You really have to love beef for this. Like a lot. Like it's good, but like, it's really hard for me to find like three patties of burger more enjoyable than one. Like I just think, in my opinion, it's a little too much. Like. I want to taste like all the other stuff and it's especially because Wendy's makes good burgers. So I want to taste the pickles. I want to taste the bread. Like, I literally couldn't taste any of this. This sauce is amazing. Mm. Ideally, um, I would not be eating this. I would be eating a slightly smaller one, but this is a good burger. So, I mean, I can't think of a scenario in which I would order this, like just keeping it super real with you. Like it's just a lot of meat. These fries are like so soggy, but honestly so good. I feel like this is gonna taste literally the same. I should mix everything into one. Mm. Now this is something that it's actually worth. I don't even know how many calories this is. This is worth all of it. This is so good. Mm. So we got some nachos to eat. Um, I think I, this might have happened on a video before, but like I've had nachos from Taco Bell and not enjoy it. So I'm curious to see how these beef ones are different from the ones I've had before. Maybe these taste better. This is so soggy. I don't understand that. Soggy nachos. Like. They're definitely good. Like. 
I enjoy them, but it's really hard to ignore the fact that these are like... Maybe people enjoy soggy nachos. Personally, I like a crunchy, like a crunchy base and then a very soggy top, but I don't want it all to become like a soggy mess, but these are so thin, that's just what happens. Look, there's literally no crunch to it. <laughs> um, so before we officially, like I will eat these things, like this is all I can eat until tomorrow morning breakfast, but honestly, this is gonna be like a 48 hour challenge, like keeping it real because I still have so many foods to finish from today. Oh my god. I'm probably the first person in the world to do this. Actually, probably not. Even though I'm so full, I'm still excited to try this, especially both together for a moment. Um, but honestly, some YouTubers, like, they do, like, all these crazy food challenges. And I know for a fact, like, not spilling tea, but I do know that some of them, like, kind of, like, fake it. Like, it's not, like, it's filmed within a much longer period of time. Not really, like, the period of time that they say. But... I don't like that, like, I keep it real with you guys, I love food, I'm not the best at eating food, like, a lot of months of food in very short periods of time, literally, like, I'm so full, but I enjoy it, I enjoy trying a lot of variety. I do finish it, but it takes me, like, a day or two, so... <clears throat> oh my god. I cannot believe... Then my whole life I've been eating um, the cinnamon twists from Taco Bell. Every time I go there, that's what I get as a dessert. When these have existed all along, it's like, it's sugary and like crispy on the outside. And then you bite into it and it's like, it's like dulce de leche or like custard or something in the center. It's, it's great with this. So until tomorrow, I mean, I, I've got so many leftovers, like this is basically all still here. So I've got this to eat for the next day. So 24 hours of only the highest calorie option of every fast food place. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope this was everything that you guys wanted it to be. Honestly, I would love to film a lowest calorie option because like, I think I would probably complain a lot and everyone would just be like mad at me. So if that's something you want to watch, give the video a like. I would love, love to film that. And also guys, if you don't want to miss out on my future videos, I would really appreciate if you could scroll down and there's a little subscribe button. So if you tap that, there's also a little notification bell. So if you also tap the notification bell, every time I put up a new video, let's say I make a part two to this video, YouTube will send you a notification, which obviously helps me because it just, you know, it just reminds people that I'm making videos. So. Thank you, a huge thank you to those of you who've got the notification bell tapped on. Honestly, like I really mean this, you guys actually support my content more than anyone else. So thank you, a huge thank you for making this possible. Oh my God, like food coma. Um... <coughs> I'm surprised this is a sneeze and not a heart attack, but I need my bed. I'm gonna go to sleep very soon. I love you guys, I hope you had a good time, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.